Hey friends, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another Tarkov video. Today I'm going to be going over all of the extraction points and locations for the customs map. Now this is going to be in the same format as my factory video, where in the bottom uh, on the video bar below, example on screen, you can actually hover over and select which extraction you need. This saves you a lot of time from bouncing between videos. Everything you need for, uh, related to extractions is right here in this video. Okay, with that being said, I'm going to be using the Big Red Warehouse, otherwise known as Big Red, as the common point of interest uh, for this video. I'm going to be going from here to all of the extractions, both PMC and SCAVs around the map. Um, just to reiterate real quick, every extraction is here. So if you go into a SCAV, you can open up this video, see where your extraction is, use the hover bar, click on it, and there you go. There you go. There's the route for the extraction. Uh, the reasoning really quick behind this is because, well... Um, when a new player comes into customs or a returning player comes into customs, the big red warehouse is one of the first things they noticed. So I'm going to go from here to all the extractions, basically. So without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, real quick, before I forget, if you double tap O, not only does it let you know where your extractions are, but if you see those question marks, that means the um, extraction may or may not be there. It has a chance of being there, has a chance of not. Some of them have telltale signs. Some of them you might just have to walk up to. If it's there, great. If it's not, oh well, uh, pick another extraction, basically. I had to fit that in there because I know someone will be like, I went there and it didn't work. Well, it's because of those question marks. All right, back to the video. Okay, our first extraction is going to be Crossroads. Now, you want to come to the Big Red Warehouse and basically look about, if you got the compass, uh, 92, head in that direction. Head through this hole in the wall right here. Get a good look at your surroundings. Red brow house. Hold in the wall. Let's go. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. And okay, this is basically Crossroads Extraction. If you are a PMC, you're going to be want to uh, stand right here for the extraction in this area. But for scavs, you may find you actually have to go around and stand here instead. I know it can be a bit weird, a bit fiddly, but basically it's just this in this general area. And that's Crossroads. All right, now we're going to go towards the old gas station extract. It's on the opposite side of the map, and we're going to go through the stronghold way uh, near construction. Let's go. Let's speed it up. Alright, we're coming up on the old gas station now. Now, there's one thing to note about the old gas station is that there has to be green smoke in front of the gas station itself. But if there is green smoke, open the door, go in, check the table, whatnot, go all the way down, open the door, sit here. Remember, no smoke, no extraction. Go to ZB. 10111012, I think. There we go. Did I get it? Pog? Easy peasy. Next up are the factory shacks. Now we're going to take a nice 180 and head towards the construction area. Alrighty, and here we are at the factory shacks. Uh, you, at the moment, you want to stand in front of these like wire barrels and extract here. It used to be like you could just stand like behind this cabin or like right here to extract. So whichever one it is or wherever they move to, it's in this area. Okay, easy peasy. Next up is the military base CP. Now, this is, again, on the opposite side of the map. So we're going to go down this main bridge right here, make a 180 at the big red. Down main bridge, down the main roads, and then take a left at the back of the map. Easy peasy. Oh, 
Okay, once again, we're going to get on top of the bridge. Now you can either move through the front of the gas station and come out the back and carry on. Or if you want to be a Chad like me and many others, you can just jump on this metal pipe over here and go over. So we're going to use the metal pipe. Listen, listen, we're not going to acknowledge that in the video, okay? I have almost max strength. Okay, that's my excuse. I'm not bad. <laughs> Just keep heading down this road, guys. There it is, guys, right there. On the little sniper scab where he likes to sit there sometimes. Over here. Took yourself away by these bins. By these reaps and dizzies. And, uh, yeah, easy peasy. This is a military base EP. All right, next we're doing Railroad to Tarkov. And thank God this one is a little bit closer. Right, so we're going to look at Big Red. Go to the left down here. It's basically at the end of the train. To our left. Um, let's go. Right, and here is Railroad to Tarkov. Uh, so you can stand across here. I think I remember it being down here as well. It's basically in this area in case they decide to move any more extraction points. Stand here, get the prompt, all's good. Go down over here, get the prompt, all's good. And that's Railroad um, to Tarkov. I wish all the extractions were as close as this one to Big Red, honestly. Sweet. Now, that, now we're going to cover the RUAF roadblock. So basically, get a look at your surroundings again. You want to run, if you're looking at the Red Warehouse, to the left. And then turn left and hug the wall on the right. We're going to speed this up. And basically the RUAF roadblock is right there. And little bonus tip, there's some stashes literally right there. And uh, a little ground stash in a bush behind that as well. So here we are. Just jump up. And boom. Our UAF roadblock. Done. Sweet. Now we're going to be heading towards the scav checkpoint extraction. This is basically on the other side of the map. Um, let's get into it. I'm just going to have to go down this main road here. Let's go. Okay, once you get on top of the bridge, uh, you can basically go through the gas station and out the back and up the road. Or, more quickly, but a little bit more riskier, the Chad way is to jump on this metal pipe over the barbed wire. And that's what we're going to do. And instead of going to admin gate, we're going to take uh, a left at the next hole in the wall over here. Which is right there. Take a left down here. And this is the scab checkpoint extraction. Next to this UN truck, right here. Right here, I believe. Now, if they change the extract points later on, just move around this area until you get the prompt. Jobs are good. Alright, cool. Now we're going to do the trailer park worker's shack. So basically, take a left. Head down, take a right of the road. And then it's on the left. The gate at the back, easy peasy. Here we are. Easy as that. Trailer park, worker shack. Sweet. Now we're going to do the trailer park exit. So look at the big red. Take a left. Head down here, past the gate. Take a right. We're going to speed this up a little bit. And thank God this one's a little bit closer than the other ones. <laughs> Now, as mentioned before in some of the other extracts, they can move the extract zone around a little bit. Just stand roughly here, or until you get the prompt, just keep moving in this area. And that's basically Trailer Park. Thank God that was so so much closer than the others. Okay, our next destination is ZB-1011. 
this time we're going to go uh, down the stronghold route again and pop out on the other side of the map, basically. Let's get into it. And it's this little underground thing right here, okay? So open you go. Head all the way downstairs. And hug the wall. Then you're done. Easy. Oh, this is an extract for me. <laughs> Actually, this time. And that's it. GG. Sweet. Now we're making a trip to Warehouse 17. This is going to be by the construction area. So here we go. Alright, we're gonna pop out of here and it's basically on our left. Warehouse 17. Right there, guys. The door or this, whatever gets you the prompt. Boom, sit here, extract. Happy days. Okay, now we're gonna do smuggler's boat. We're gonna turn around to face dorms again, make a 180 at the um, red warehouse if you're facing it. And we're just gonna speed up until we get there. Alright, and there's Smuggler's Boat with the fire. The fire may not, may or may not be there. If it's not there, then you can't take it. Um, but yeah, just stand here next to the boat. If you've got Smuggler's Boat and it's here, indicated by the fire, you're good to go. Alright, now we're going to do Old Gas Station or Scavs. Uh, we're going to go to the opposite side of the map, down um, Construction and Stronghold Way. So, look at Big Red, take a left, and off we go. It's And a uh, blue stim. Head through this uh, door right here. And uh, hook this big red brown door gate thing over here. And there you go. Old gas station extract for scavs. Now to run back. <laughs> okay, next up is the dorms vehicle exit. Now for this, you need about 7,000 rubles and it has a maximum extract capacity of four players. So you can extract four players. I'm going to show you how you can get from the red warehouse to the dorms vehicle exit. I'm going to speed this up a bit. And there we have it, the Dorms Vehicle Exit. Again, this has a max uh, extract capacity of four players, and you need 7,000 rubles. Cool. Now we're going to head towards uh, ZB-1012, and we're going to go the Construction Stronghold way. So let's go. Take a left, and then take another left, then go all the way down to Stronghold. Gray blocked cylinder going underneath. It's literally 
right over there. But first... If it's available, get this stash. I mean, you can tell I've already been here for the other extract. <laughs> get that stash. You can find good stuff in the stash. And yeah, here it is. ZB1012. Uh, the spotlight has to be on for this extract to work, so it's on. So it should let me extract. Hug the wall. And there you go. ZB1012. Sweet. Now we're going to head to the old road gate. We're going to take a sweet 180 and head towards dorms. Basically hugging the left of the map. Let's go. And here we are. Old road gate. Just stand here as a scav, and you'll be good to go. Easy peasy. Dope, now we're gonna head towards the passage in between the rocks uh, extraction. Let's go. We're gonna make a 180, and basically hug the left side of the map. By the way, there's a stash right here. There you go, little bonus stash for you. Now, you just want to get in between the passage and the rocks. It's one of these fences. So just run up to these fences, get the prompt, and then you'll be good to extract. I think it's this one with this uh, twiggy bush right here. And if not, you can always just, like, try this here. It's definitely, like, one of those two, I believe. And that's patches between rocks. All right, now we're going to head to Sniper Roadblock. Take a 180 and head towards Smuggler's Boat slash Dorms. And I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Head up the hill. Basically, when you hit the road, turn left, and right in front of us over there is the sniper roadblock. Now, all you want to do is just basically stand um, in front of the gate right here. And that's it. Easy peasy. If you can't extract while standing here, stand like somewhere else around the roadblock, just in case they do decide to move it. They have done that before with the extractions, just in case. Right now we're heading towards the railroad to military base. Gonna take a nice 180, head left side of the map, past dorms and vehicle exit. And yeah, let's speed this up a little bit. So you're at the train, go all the way down, and extraction is on the left side of the train. Now, disclaimer, they might move these extraction spots around a little bit. Stand here, get the prompt or along this wall, or simply go along the other side of the train. Stand there also along that wall. And that is railroad to military base. Ciao. Okay, guys, we're going to go to railroad uh to port and thank god this is another close one let's go so big red turn around facing dorms or smugglers boat and we're just gonna go over to the other end of uh, this train over here let's go and there you have it guys this is railroad to port easy peasy just hook this gate along this wall 
Again, if they decide to move any of the extraction points. That's it. Railroad to port. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to knock out admin gate. So basically, you want to turn towards dorms again. Make a little 180 against the red warehouse. And just follow my lead. I'm going to speed this up quite a bit. It's on the other side of the map. It's literally on the, the opposite side of the map. All right, when you hit the bridge, you're going to be looking at a new gas station, okay? New gas station. I'm going to show you guys the Chad way of going through gas station. You can go through the entrance and then pop out the back and continue going down this main road. Or, if you want to be like me and be like a Chad, you can jump on this metal pipe here. If you're not, like, too heavily injured, boom. And then just jump over the barbed wire. Continue down the main road. Keep going down. See that big brown gate over there? I suppose it's red, brownish, reddish gate. That is um, admin gate. It's as easy as peasy. Um, just hug the wall and you're done. Just like that. Sadly up next is factory far corner, which is on the complete opposite side of the map. We're gonna speed this one up a little bit and we're just gonna go over the main bridge and down the main road, okay? So look. Turn 180, and let's go. Okay, we're going to come up to the bridge. We're going to see a new gas station. You can go through the entry, the, through the front of gas station, and come out the back. Or you could be a chad like me and jump on this metal pipe over the barbed wire and continue down the road until you hit um, the back wall and then take a right. There we go. Oh. Easy. So right here, guys. Factory far corner. And that's it. Easy as this. Just hug the wall over here, make sure you get the prompt. And extract. Easy. Okay, now we're moving on to ZB-013. Now for this extraction, you're going to need the trusty old factory key. And we're going to have to flip a switch that enables you to open um, the gate with the factory key. So we're going to head over to warehouse 4. And flip the switch and then go unlock the key at the stronghold or unlock the door to stronghold. Let's go. First to warehouse four. And boom, we're at Warehouse 4. Now what you want to do is go on the inside, take a left immediately, open the door. Go through, take a right, and there's the switch. Flip that bad boy. Again, a reminder, we need the factory key. And we're going to head back to the stronghold to open the door. Follow me. two ways you can get you can get to it from under the ground right there you can just fall down into the pit and up i'm gonna take you to the stairs right here go underneath there we go and that's the door you open with the factory key boom i'm just gonna show you what it looks like going from underneath while i'm here just it's just a simple drop down come underneath come here and then extract Easy peasy. 
And that's the end of the video. If you've made it this far, which statistically on the channel only 1% to 10% of people do, uh, I don't think it'll be that much even on this video because it, of the layout and type, like tutorial type it is. So I say a massive thank you for like uh, making it to the end and giving me your watch time, really. Um, I really appreciate it. And we're trying to push for YouTube partnership. If you could leave a like or maybe drop a sub or, mo or more importantly, just comment something down below. It helps us out in the YouTube algorithm so much. I can't stress it enough. Just, you know, what video to do next? What's your favorite thing in Tarkov? Even dropping a thank you would be super appreciated. Take care. Until the next video. I've been doing this all day. Literally all day. Like all day. Uh, I'm not going to get too much into blah, blah, blah. I'll do Woods, Shoreline, Interchange, Labs, every other map next. Um, until next time. Peace out.